triangle. The seventh chapter in the syllabus which we are going to deal with is triangles. Triangle. What is a triangle? In mathematics, we have a definition of triangle in its own manner. So let's see the introduction of a triangle. The introduction of a triangle. As triangle refers, clearly I have a triangle which is separated into tri plus angle. So a triangle is formed by tri and angle. Tri refers to three. An angle refers to the angle which we have out here. So any figure which has three angles or a figure which has three angles involved is called a triangle. As we see, a triangle looks in the shape of this. It has three angles. Angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. So triangle has three angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 is how we get the three angles in a triangle. Triangle. A figure which involves three angles is what is called a triangle and looks in this shape. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3. So a triangle has three angles, three sides. And three vertices. So a triangle has three angles, three sides, and three vertices. Study of three angles of a solid figure, of a geometrical figure, is what we refer as triangle. Now that we have discussed about the definition of a triangle or what a triangle looks like, we have next the properties involved with triangles. The first property is about congruency of triangles. Before we understand the congruency of triangles, let's try to connect the congruency definition with the triangle. What is congruency? Let's see the definition in brief. Congruency. What is congruency? Before we get into the actual mathematical definition, say for example, I have taken a picture of mine on a mobile phone. I have picked, taken the picture twice. So this is my picture one. And this is my picture two. When I take the picture immediately, I see that both the pictures are similar, quite similar. Therefore, I say the picture clicked immediately one after the other are said to be congruent because they are exactly same to each other. Or say for example, I take a one rupee coin. Imagine I take a one rupee coin of the year 2013 and I take a similar coin out here of the different year say 2015 so I take another object of the year 2015 and this also is a one rupee coin of the year 2015 then these two coins are said to be congruent to each other because when I put one coin over the other 
the thickness and the size are same. And when we look into them side by side, I only see the ear being different, but the coins are same. So this is an example of congruent coins. Congruent coins are the coins which are equal in all respects. So finally, I define congruency to be the two quantities are said to be congruent if they are equal in all respects. Equal in thickness, equal in size, equal in shape and equal in quality is how we see the congruency. Congruency of two pictures of mine clicked, congruency of two coins which are taken of the different years. Congruency equal in all respects. So I define congruency two quantities which are equal in all respects is how I define the congruency. Two quantities which are equal in all respects are said to be congruent quantities. Congruent photos, congruent coins is how I understand the definition of congruency. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.